Hey guys, in this video, I want to give you a list of 10 things, 10 essential things that you actually must have to start kite surfing. I'm not going to be talking about some luxury stuff like wetsuit and sunglasses and sun sunscreen, but these are really essential things. So if you forget at least one of them, you won't be able to kite surf, or at least you won't be able to kite surf safely. Or you'll end up running around the beach asking to borrow certain things. Okay, so the 10 things, real quick. It's the kite. It's the kite lines, number two. Number three, it's a control bar. Number four is a spreader bar. Number five, a uh, safety leash. Number six, harness. Number seven, a board. Number eight, pump. Number nine, hose. And number 10 is uh, the air pressure gauge. So let's talk about them slowly. Well, first of all, the kite. Sometimes kites are sold separately. Okay, sometimes they're sold prepackaged with, uh, with a control bar and the kite lines. That's what they look like. Okay, this is the control bar. This is where you put your hands on and this is how you steer the kite by this thing. And uh, these white guys here are kite lines. So this is what actually connects you by a chicken loop, connects you to the kite. And uh, yeah, sometimes kites sold without this thing. If, if the ad says, if they're posting on a, on, a, on a Facebook, not on Facebook, on a eBay says um, kite only, then these guys are not included. Now you may be wondering, why do they sell kites separately? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Number one reason is uh, if you had a full set and uh, you broke the kite, you may want to replace just the kite. Okay, you wouldn't need two sets of bars and two sets of kite lines. Okay. Also, most of the manufacturers, in fact, looks like all of the manufacturers, they recommend when you buy a set of kites, set of kites of different sizes, they suggest that you go with the same make and the same model. If the model is the same, chances are kites of a different sizes might share the same size of a control bar and the same length of kite lines. If that is the case, it's cheaper to have one bar with one set of lines and several kites, so you can just attach these lines to the kite that you want to go on. Okay, just switch the lines over to the kite that you're taking out for a ride. Right, so hope that makes sense. Next, moving on. Next item is the harness. Very essential piece. And um, harnesses, they also come with uh, spreader bars. Now this spreader bar is hidden inside of this padding over here. I have another model to show you. You see this is a spreader bar and this is the main point of attachment. This is where the full power of a kite is transferred to you. Okay, this is the hook where the chicken loop goes in. Okay, the chicken loop goes inside of this goes inside of this hook. All right. Uh, spreader bar is not always sold all together with um, with a harness. Okay, sometimes you have to buy this thing separately and the spread spreader bars, they come in variety of sizes. I think they measure it in inches, so it's like 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, I guess. <laughs> so depending on the size of the harness, you have to go with one or the other size of the spreader bar. Sometimes the, they come prepackaged, sometimes bars are sold separately. Um, now, a little word about harnesses. You see, Kite surfing harnesses, they are very similar with uh, windsurfing harnesses. The only difference is, and it's a big difference, um, the difference is, you see these loops over here? We have, I have one over here, one on the other side over here. We use these loops, loops to attach safety leashes. And uh, safety, well, this one is over here, this one is attached, that's a safety leash. Safety leashes are elastic. And, uh, well, they might have two carabiners on, uh, on each end, one, one on each end. So one side goes to the harness, the other side goes to the kite. This is the last resort to keep your kite connected to you. If you engage the main safety system and disconnect the kite from your harness, open up the chicken loop, then this would be the only thing that connects you to your kite. Without this leash, you may lose your kite. Okay, if the kite gets picked up by the wind, you will have no means of uh, catching it. Okay, so this is your safety. Actually, it's not your safety, it's your kite's safety leash. Okay, really smart idea to have it. Now, these guys, they sometimes they sold with a kite, prepackaged with a kite, sometimes they come with a harness. 
Okay, sometimes with both, sometimes neither one of those has a safety leash. Okay, and if that's the case, make sure that your set of gear has a safety leash. All right, double check. It's better to have both, to have two of them. One that came from the, uh, with a harness, the other one that came with a, with a kite, rather than not to have any. And, uh, you know, once we added, uh, every now and then I see riders, especially uh, beginners, forgetting to connect them. Okay, they're hanging on the harness with both ends connected to the harness and none of these ends actually connects to the kite. That's a big mistake. Um, keep in mind, keep in mind that safety leash has to be connected to the kite. All right, moving on. Next, next is a board. Board, actually, you know, board, once we add it, it just appeared to me that um, sometimes boards are sold without the foot straps. Yeah, new boards, they could be sold without the foot straps. So foot straps could be sold separately. If that's the case, that's a separate buy. And uh, that's a list of 11 items to have. Okay, if you're buying a used board, chances are it will come with pre-installed pads, pre-installed on it. Okay, but anyway, that's another item. Next is a pump. Chances are the kite that you, you're buying or you'll be playing with has an inflatable structure to it, inflatable frame, inflatable leading edge and inflatable struts. So how do you put the air in a kite? You need a pump. You need a pump and uh, uh, sometimes kites are sold with a pump, sometimes not. Especially going back to the first example when I said that kites could be sold separately, when the uh, headline says kite only, then it's not going to have the pump. Not likely. Okay, and it's going to be a separate purchase. Now, pump usually is sold with a hose, because hose is needed to transfer air from the pump to the kite. And you see one tip goes to the pump, and the other tip goes to the, uh, to the kite. And it has a little adapter for different kinds of kites. What else I have in here is uh, not always included with the pump. It's the air pressure gauge. This guy will tell you how much air you've put into the kite. Very important thing. I'll talk about this in more details in a later video, but for now just remember that this is your friend, because in the beginning you really don't know how much pressure to put in the kite by the feel, okay? This will give you the number. This will tell you exactly how much air you've put in the kite, okay? So, good idea to have it, right? Once again, let's go over the list. It's a um, list of 10, right? Or oh, 11. So, it's the kite, number one. Number two, lines. Number three, bar, control bar. Number four, spreader bar. Number five, harness. Number six, safety leash. Number seven, uh, board with the straps, with the foot straps. Number ten, pump with a hose with a gauge. Ten altogether. All right. Um, looks like that's about all. All right. Make sure you have all of this gear because if you're missing one of these pieces, then you won't be able to enjoy the ride. Okay, hope this is helpful, guys. Um, as always, get out there, have fun, and be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.